Hey guys, it's Chuck from Brady Adventures. Um, you're gonna have to excuse me, I got a little bit of a cold, but I could not delay in showing you guys all the stuff that has come in uh, for the dual battery system. So we finally selected everything, ordered it. Um, so I'm gonna walk through all of the different things that we got, and as we go through the series, um, you're gonna end up uh, getting uh, an idea of why we picked the different things we did, um, why we did the fusing we did, the gauges, the wires, um, and the different components in the system, and you'll get to see us uh, put it all in the Land Cruiser. One thing that's missing right here is the starter battery, the main battery, and installation kit. Um, we've already put that in the vehicle. We had a little bit of drama about whether that was gonna fit in there or not. Kinda wanted to move out swiftly in case I needed to get that battery returned, um, and that was really the most expensive component of this whole thing. So let me walk through what we got uh, here and all of the different things that we're going to use. I'm pretty sure this is everything I'm going to need. There might be a handful of little odds and ends. Um, we got some military spec terminals. Um, this is one of the ones from the sleeping main battery kit uh, for the, the main start battery. I've got just a, a spool of some 8 gauge wire. Um, this I'm going to be running off the fuse block and back uh, to accessories, um, initially probably a fridge, uh, but some other things too. This is probably be a little overkill for some applications. I've got some two gauge wire here. This is gonna go from the auxiliary battery uh, back to the fuse and the fuse block, um, our main breaker for the fuse block and the accessory fuse block. Um, we've got one gauge wire that's going to go in between the two batteries, um, connected by this MLACR charging relay. Um, we've got some terminal fuse blocks. These will connect up to the uh, little spec terminals. And then we've got fuses for those. Um, we've got a dual battery monitor from National Luna that will allow us to see the status of each battery uh, at any given time. Uh, so we've got the braided sleeves, we've got red uh, for hot wire or positive wire. we got blue for like accessory wires that are, for instance, going to the MLACR switch or to our uh, dual battery monitor. And we've got black for the um, negative cape. <clears throat> We've got a whole ton of different kinds of these eyelets. Um, these will be crimped to the wire. Um, the reason I have so many different kinds is for the different gauges of wire and also for the different um, types of lugs that they'll be attached to, everything from 3 8 uh, on down. Um, to get these crimped onto this wire, uh, you can't use any old crimper if you want to get a good, reliable connection. So we've got this. Um, hydraulic crimping tool. Um, this is kind of a cheap Chinese version that you get off of Amazon. Um, I've not tried it out yet. Um, it's got kind of mixed reviews. I think I think it's going to be good enough for our purposes. Um, let's see. We also have a ton of tube here, um, just for all the various eyelets and anything that we need to get covered up. Um, we have our 285 series breaker, 120 amp breaker to go with our um, fuse block here, or ST blade fuse block, both Blue C systems. Um, I was thinking about going with the 187, it looked a little bit nicer, but this one was quite a bit cheaper, so I decided to go with the 285. Um, also, the uh, sort of the heart of the system, the MLACR automatic charging relay. Um, just wanted to mention that. This guy ranges in price anywhere from $225 on down to, believe it or not, $126. I don't know why it swings so much, but um, you know, add this to your wish list and just keep an eye on it because it will go up and down. Um, normally it sits right around $190 on Amazon. So you can see a lot of Blue Sea equipment. Um, we got our sleeve battery trays, one's gone. Um, of course we have our Odyssey batteries. Um, the 2150 ST is already in the vehicle, and now we have the PC1230. This is going to be, at least initially, the auxiliary battery. Uh, may switch over uh, to be the start battery one day, we'll see. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please ask any questions, uh, and keep in mind that we're going to post um, links to all of this equipment and some more detailed 
uh, descriptions of what we've done on BradyAdventures.com, which is our blog. So we'll have a blog on this whole install, and we'll be uh, releasing the blog at the same time that we release these videos. Um, so hope you enjoy. You got any questions before we get off of here? No? Makes sense? If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.